retail, but I am especially proud of our unbelievable retail team. It's the best place to go experience our new products. And so let's get going on telling you about what we're going to launch today, beginning with Apple Watch. <laughs> Apple Watch was designed to help people stay active, motivated, and connected so that they could live a better day. And I'm happy to tell you that more people are doing that than ever before. Since the launch of the Series 2, the Apple Watch has experienced phenomenal growth. In fact, last quarter, Apple Watch grew over 50% compared to the previous year. This is incredible. Now, last year, we told you that the Apple Watch had already become the number two watch in the world. Today, I'm thrilled to tell you the Apple Watch is now the number one watch in the world. But, but what's most rewarding to us is how much our users love it. Our, we have an industry-leading customer satisfaction rate of 97%. This is blow away. Now, people write to us all the time and tell us how the Apple Watch is helping them lead a healthier life. These stories are unbelievable, and we prepared a video so that you could hear directly from them what they're telling us. I'd love to play it for you. Querida Apple. Привет, Apple. Dear Tim. Hello, Mr. Cook. I know you may never read this, but I just wanted to put it out there. I live in Massachusetts. I'm a country boy from small town Mississippi. I'm a two-time Olympian. He was found by Ladino. I'm the father of a nine-year-old. I am a 99-year-old world traveler. Every day for the last two and a half years, I have worn this tiny computer on my wrist. This is the first time I've worn a watch since my bar mitzvah. I was a scrawny, sports-hating kid who never really liked being active. I was coming back from a knee surgery. While I was never fat, I was the proud owner of a dad bod. I'm feeling too a deep depression. walk around the house and my family thinks Coast monitor with the Apple Watch lets us make sure her blood sugars don't go to dangerously low levels. For six minutes I hung there in my car talking to a dispatcher until help arrived. Had I not been wearing my Apple Watch, I never would have sought medical attention, which in turn saved my life. Sincerely, Paul. Thank you so much for creating something that does not make me feel old. Thanks for listening. Avi, sincerely, Stuart. All the best, Tara. Sincerely, Avi. Jill. Casey. With благодарность, you, Dmitri. Muito obrigado, Giovanni. Sincerely, Stuart. All the best, Tara. Sincerely, Avi. Jill. Casey. With благодарность, you, Dmitri. Muito obrigado, Giovanni.
those stories are so moving, and there's really no words to describe what it feels like to receive these notes. I'd like to thank everybody in the video for sharing their personal experience with all of us. Now, we have some great news about the future of Apple Watch, and to share it with you, I'd like to invite Jeff up. Jeff? Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Tim. Those stories are really great, and it's, it's really inspiring to us that so many people are getting healthier with Apple Watch. And with WatchOS 4, they're going to be able to do even more. We're adding smart activity coaching, which is going to help more people close more rings more often. A completely redesigned workout app with high intensity interval training. New features for swimmers like auto sets and gym kit. An industry first. It's really simple. You just tap your watch on a machine, get going, and all your metrics are in sync. One of the things that enables these fitness features is the Apple heart rate sensor. And it's been at the core of Apple Watch since the very beginning. And today, it's the most used heart rate monitor in the world. And we want to use it to help even more people. So we're doing three things. First, we're making enhancements to the heart rate app to give you more information. Now, you'll see your heart rate right on the watch face so you can keep an eye on it with just a raise of the wrist. And when you launch the heart rate app, you'll see new measurements like resting heart rate. Apple Watch calculates this daily by correlating background heart rate readings with accelerometer data. And recovery heart rate, which tells you how quickly your heart rate drops after workout. A lower resting heart rate and a quicker recovery rate can be signs of improved fitness. And now you can keep a better picture of your heart rate. You'll have a better picture throughout the day. The second thing we're doing is inspired by many of the letters we receive from customers who notice an unusually high heart rate when they wouldn't expect one. So Apple Watch has been helpful for them, but we realize most people won't notice. So we're adding a feature. And now Apple Watch will notify you when it detects an elevated heart rate you, and you don't appear to be active. And the third thing we're doing is focused on heart rhythm. A regular heart rhythm has a familiar pattern. But when your heart beats irregularly, it's called an arrhythmia. It doesn't mean it's beating too fast or too slow. It just means it's beating out of its normal rhythm. And that can cause problems. The most common form of serious arrhythmia is called atrial fibrillation, or AFib. And it affects tens of millions of people and is a leading cause of stroke. But the challenge is, Many people with AFib don't feel symptoms, so it often goes undiagnosed. We've been looking at this for a couple of years, and we think Apple Watch can help. In our initial studies, Apple Watch has been effective at surfacing irregular rhythms. So we're expanding that work, and today we're announcing the Apple Heart Study. It will use data from Apple Watch, and it will analyze arrhythmias, including AFib, and notify users. This study is being conducted in partnership with Stanford Medicine, and we're working closely with the FDA, and they've been great to work with. So later this year, the first phase of the Apple Heart Study will be available in the US on the App Store. Those are the updates focused on fitness and health, and they join the other great features of WatchOS 4. We have a completely redesigned music experience, uh, an, an intelligent Siri face, fun new characters from Toy Story, and more. So that's WatchOS 4. It will be available to all Apple Watch customers on September 19th. And now I'd like to introduce the next generation of Apple Watch.
introducing Apple Watch Series 3, and it has cellular built in. Now you have the freedom to go anywhere with just your Apple Watch. This, this has been our vision from the very beginning, and we believe built-in cellular makes Series 3 the ultimate expression of Apple Watch. Now you can go for a run with just your watch and still be connected. You can leave your phone when you go to the beach or just run a quick errand. And it's really nice to know you can be reached if needed while staying in the moment. You can receive an important call with just your watch, and, and the number is the same number as your iPhone. You don't have to manage a separate number. The apps you rely on, like Messages, just work, and Siri's at your beck and call anytime, anywhere. You can use maps and get directions, and the location for Find My Friend automatically switches to your watch when you're away from your phone. And third-party apps like WeChat work over cellular as well. And coming next month, Cellular is going to change the way we listen to music because with Apple Watch Series 3 and Apple Music, you can stream 40 million songs on your wrist. You'll have access to all your favorite music. You can listen to Beats One Live or any Apple Radio music station. You can even ask Siri to find you the perfect track. Now, the best device for staying, motive, uh, for staying active has all the music you need to stay motivated. What? To enable these features on Apple Watch, we have packed Series 3 with the most advanced technologies ever in a watch. Inside is a new dual-core processor delivering up to 70% more, more performance. It's really, really fast. Siri is quicker than ever, and thanks to the new processor, for the first time on Apple Watch, Siri can talk. It's 64 degrees right now in South Lake Tahoe. It's, it's, actually, it's really convenient to, to not have to look at the screen when you ask it a question. For Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity, we developed a custom wireless chip we call W2. There's nothing else like it. It delivers up to 85% faster Wi-Fi while being 50% more power, power efficient for both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And we've added a barometric altimeter. So now you get flights of stairs climbed and elevation gains after a workout. We're also releasing an app for developers that's going to be great for skiing and snowboarding apps. Of course. Got a snowboarder out there. Of course, the biggest challenge of all was adding cellular. You see, our little watch is already packed. And you have to add antennas, radios, power amplifiers, a SIM card. And if you don't do it right, it gets so big, it looks like a house arrest bracelet, and you're not going to want to wear it. <laughs> so our engineers have been hard at work and they've come up with some really creative solutions. For example, rather than add an antenna, the display itself is the multi-frequency antenna for both LTE and UMTS. And of course you have to have a SIM card, but even a nano SIM would be way too big. So instead, we integrated an electronic SIM, and it's a fraction of the size. So here's where we ended up. Even with all these new features, faster dual core processor, W2, altimeter, all the stuff you've got to put in for cellular, the case for Series 3 is the same size as Series 2. <laughs> the only difference is we extended the back crystal a mere 0.25 millimeters. That's as thin as two sheets of paper. It's it's really magical to make a standalone call on a device this small, and I'd like to do that for you right now. I'm going to switch watches so you guys can uh, see what's going on. Uh, this watch is connected over the AT&T cellular network. This is our new Explorer face, and I'm going to tap on the, uh, the phone app, 
and I'm going to call Deidre, who's a colleague on the watch team. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Deidre. Hey, I'm calling you from the new Steve Jobs Theater. How are you doing? I'm a little sad to be missing the keynote, but I'm working very hard out here. Oh, yeah, sure, sure you are. Why don't we pull in some video and show everybody where you are? <laughs> this has been a very tough assignment, but you know me. I'm a team player. Yeah, that's you, Deidre. Give, give, give. Well, it looks beautiful out there. It is amazing, but I'm just trying not to fall off this board in front of a million people. <laughs> well, so, so, far, so, so far so good, Deidre. Hey, uh, I, I should probably cut it off before something goes awry, but uh, be safe out there, and thanks for doing this. My pleasure. I may stay here a few more days. Yeah, okay, okay. That sounds great, Deidre. I'm going to go rogue for a minute. I, you know, you guys, you guys get it, but sometimes people take technology for granted. And just, just for perspective, I'm mic'd. And in fact, I'm actually double mic'd in just the right location so you can hear me. Deidre's out in the middle of a windy lake, and the only microphone on Deidre is the little tiny one on the Apple Watch. It's a foot or two away from her mouth. She's paddling, and the signal's being sent over cellular coming in. And that's just darn close to magic. Yeah. Who would have thought? <laughs> Series 3 comes in a wide variety of cases and bands. We have a beautiful new gold aluminum finish, along with silver and space gray. And we're excited to introduce a new band we call the Sport Loop. It's designed for an active lifestyle, and it's light, stretchy, and breathable. For Apple Watch Nike Plus, we have exclusive new colors, and they're releasing a new version of their Nike Plus Run Club app with great new features like in-run audio coaching. And we have some wonderful colors across all of our bands that you just have to see in person. We have a great partnership with Hermes, and the tradition continues this year with some new watch face styles, some beautiful new bands, like the one on the left that's inspired by the classic Hermes driving glove. And last year, we introduced a white ceramic watch. This year, we're adding a ceramic watch in a gorgeous gray finish. All of these watches were built with a great deal of care, as well as a concern for the environment, and they're free of these harmful materials. So that's Apple Watch Series 3, cellular, GPS, swim-proof, 70% faster dual-core processor, uh, barometric altimeter, all the features of Watch OS 4, and it still has all-day battery life up to 18 hours across a mix of LTE, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi. We have two versions of Series 3. There's one with cellular at $399, and a version without cellular that has all the other great features at just $329. And we're going to keep Series 1 in the line at a new starting price of $249. Series 3 cellular will be available in these nine countries with these 14 carriers at launch and six more coming later in the year. And we've worked with each of these carriers and they each off have a special introductory offer for Series 3, so it's going to be great. And we, we are offering the, the Series 3 without cellular in these 26 countries at launch. Orders will begin September 15th and availability will be September 22nd. That's the update on Apple Watch, and now back to Tim.
Apple Watch. Apple Watch is the ultimate device for healthy life, and the Series 3 takes that to a whole new level. Now, Jeff showed you some very cool things you can do with the cellular function in the Series 3. And one of those is to stream 40 million songs right on your wrist. We've made a great ad showing just that. I'd love to play it for you. This is a big moment for Apple Watch, and we think you are going to love it. Next up, 